It was awesome. I can't describe it. For the first time in 12 years, Sean Findlay can feel his hand again. To close your eyes and to grab something with a hand that you no longer have, but to be able to feel, okay, you know the hand's not there, but then now you're feeling with it. It's just, uh, it's mind-blowing. It's mind-blowing. The 44-year-old Army veteran lost part of his hand during an accident in a fabrication shop, but 13 reconstructive surgeries later and still in tremendous pain, he chose to have doctors amputate his entire hand and part of his forearm. It's probably the best decision uh, medically for me because that was in 09. Here it is almost 10 years later. I don't hurt. I'm not on any type of medicine. My way of life, my personality is back. I'm not, you know, over medicated. Sean says he embraced life with his prosthetic. I do whatever I want, whenever I want. But then last year, he was offered an incredible opportunity. Help doctors create a robotic hand that moves and provides a sensation like a natural hand. I'm of the mindset that if it's beneficial to humanity, it's worth it. The research division of the Department of Defense is funding the trial, and the goal is to improve the quality of life for wounded warriors. With the funding, Dr. Jonathan Chang has researched ways to communicate with the residual nerves inside the arm of an amputee. Whenever we deliver electrical stimulation into those nerves, we actually are able to give the sensation of feeling, and in some many cases, the sensation of movement. At the start of the three-month trial, Cheng's team implanted electrodes on two nerves inside Sean's arm. Then over time, they used a circuit board to increase stimulation to those nerves. And I was always one of those that say, okay, let's take it to the limit. I want to know what the max feels like. You go for, you know, 12 years of not feeling, you know, I want to, I want to experience it all. <laughs> now the next step is to build a robotic arm equipped with this technology. In an ideal world, it would be to help everybody who has an amputation like this. That'd be awesome. But Sean says he's especially excited about what it could mean for military men and women. I've got a son that serves in the Marines, and with all of our soldier boys coming back with all the damage, we need to take care of those guys. Contributing to science so others can feel once again. <laughs> Pretty incredible, right? The technology will still need FDA approval, but it could be on the market in as little as three years. For HealthLink, I'm Amatia Drisi.